Welcome, my name is Vince, and today I want to do a quick video on why you need ground radials with a vertical antenna. Let's hop over to the computer and I'll, I'll go over it. Okay, now let's say this is our ground. What we're going to do, we're going to have our vertical. Please excuse my drawing, I'm actually doing this with my mouse, so it's a little harder than normal. So now the height of this should be a quarter wavelength over a quarter. And what you're going to have is when the antenna starts to radiate, it's going to radiate outward. And because the ground is not a good conductor, you're going to have your signal radiating back inward. But you're going to have a resistor in place here. Now as you operate, this resistor will start to give off some heat. And if you actually have enough power, it will make the worm start to come up out of the ground. Now that's great if you're fishing, but other than that, it's not an effective antenna system. So from here, what you need to do is, let's say you're looking down from the sky down to the top of your antenna, and this is the view you have. So what you're going to do is you're going to want to run ground radials. And I think a good rule of thumb is having two to four wavelengths of ground radials on the ground. Let's say you're at 20 meters and the wavelength is about 70, 72 feet. So you're going to want to go two to three times that in length of ground radials. Now you can always go more. And they don't have to be actually cut to a perfect quarter wavelength because they're on the ground. If they were elevated, they'd have to be cut and tuned. But since they're on the ground or right below the ground, you don't want to go too deep. Now you will have different uh, schools of belief on this as to how many radios you should put out. Some may say four, some may say 12. You know, some may tell you you need a, as many as 120 or 150. And I personally feel the more the better, but at some point, and I believe it's over 120, you hit a point of diminishing returns and each radio you add will be less effective than maybe the first hundred. Now the purpose of the radio is going back to the other antenna when you had the ground and you had the resistors and you had the heat. What the ground radials do is give the return path a perfect conductor and it reduces this heat and you no longer have this heat. And if anybody knows anything about electronics, heat is usually caused by a, a loss of power somewhere or a dissipation of power. Personally, I'd rather have my power being radiated into the air than having it dissipated into the ground. Okay, I hope you found this helpful. Remember to like and subscribe. Ding that bell if you liked it. 73s.